I was just thinking about this story and uh, I want to share it. It was, uh, it's about being honest with yourself. And it happened at the dentist when I went to get my teeth cleaned, I remember. I don't know why I like came to mind, but it did. And I figured I'd share it because it's, it's kind of funny. So normal way you go to the dentist, you know, I think the lady was going to like clean my teeth or whatever. And, uh, you know, you're just kind of going back and forth, like talking about what you do and, you know, this and that and just kind of making small talk. And the lady asked me, um, she, she asked me what I did and I like told her what I did. And she was like, how do you like doing that? And I told her, I was like, I don't like it at all. It's terrible. I can't wait for the day to, I can quit. And when I said that, she kind of like, she's like, whoa, like what? <laughs> You know, she's like, she wasn't expecting that answer, right? She's like, well, wow, that's that's crazy. She's like, most engineers I hear, they, they usually just say, well, it's okay. Or, you know, just living the dream. Or, you know, they give her like one of those answers where those people aren't being honest with themselves, right? Like, if you're the type of person that goes to work and says living the dream, another day in paradise, like all those things that people say when they work a corporate job, like that's not okay, that you're literally lying to yourself. You're not being honest with yourself about how you really feel about what you're doing, right? And then I asked the lady, I was like, well, it sounds like those people are just like lying to themselves because they usually just say, it's like, oh, it's okay, you pay the bills, it, whatever right and to me that that's not right and the bigger problem is that it's a huge amount of people that feel that way right so the way i see it it doesn't even have to be like quit your job and go do whatever the hell else or quit your job and do real estate or quit your job and i don't know draw butterfly drawings or whatever the hell it is right it's not that it's the way I see it is you got job A and then you got person B at job A. So over here. And then you have job B and you have person A that does job B over here. Person B over here is miserable at job A. Person A is miserable over here at job B. And they're just, oh, it's okay, it's just getting by, paying the bills, living the dream, all that bullshit. They say to themselves, right? Where all they'd have to do is stop doing that shit and person B from over here goes to job B and person A from over here goes to job A. And job A and person A is happy as hell now. Job B and person B best day like literally living the dream not like the typical saying that's like the point of this is so many people like go when you can go back to your office if you have an office how many people say that same exact thing how many managers say that same exact thing and to me when someone says that like dude it sounds like you're ready to like throw yourself off a bridge like what are you waiting for like <clears throat> you know like Stop spreading your negativity on me. Like, you know, find a better fucking job <laughs> that you don't hate that much, right? So anyway, I just wanted to share that little funny story because I remembered it. And uh, I hope if you are a person that's, you know, maybe at job A and you're person B, that you go look for job B or you do start a company or you do whatever you want to do and not just keep being okay with what you're doing because to me, you're just literally wasting your life away. You have one short life and you're sitting there hating going to work and you go to work your whole life. Why not make money, enjoy what you do and be happy? It's not that hard, right? So anyway, 
<laughs> hope you thought my story was funny. And uh, yeah, hope you have a great Memorial Day weekend. My button's still not. It's 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 done. It's done.